Why hello there guys, my name is Fine and Shot, and today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on one of the effects in my Love Me Edit, so let me go ahead and grab this. Okay, just one second. It's in the second motion track, it's um, on the Element 3D text, so just let it play through. And it's just going to be a little laggy just because I'm recording. Okay, see how, one second, see how the text comes in like that, you can see a little like 3D raise and it comes in and then it comes in as the text yeah so I'll show you guys how to do that real quick it's not that hard so go ahead and make an element layer and track it and everything so I already tracked this and if you don't have element what you can do is I found this video not too long ago on this guy's channel so you guys can go ahead and use this it's a um, it's a AE script and it basically just extrudes the text a bunch of layers and then it makes it um, all clean and everything. It makes it kind of look like um, Element 3D. So go ahead and watch this video. I'll have the link in the description. And uh, yeah, thank you to this guy for making that script for all the people that don't have Element. So I'm going to continue this tutorial. Um, have an Element layer, all tracked, everything. Go ahead and go to your effect. And then go to Sapphire Distort Warp Chroma. And you're going to need Sapphire for this, as you could have just saw. Um, I'll have a link in the description to a video which will uh, show you how to get that. Then go to steps and make this 100. Sweet. And then go ahead and drag this, um, the center XY, and drag it like really far away. Like super far away. Okay. So now you can see that we can barely see the text. And I'm actually going to drag it even more away. Okay. So now you can like not see anything at all. Like, if you turn it on and off, it just looks like a contrast difference. So, go ahead and keyframe this, and obviously your cinematic will be much longer than this, you know, like, a second and a half. But I'm just going to keyframe that, and then go to the end, and just grab it, and put it back onto our screen, and then I'll have to adjust it to a prefer perfect position. Okay, and then go like that. Okay. So now it's perfect, and it just came in from there, you know, and just came in. So now it just looks kind of odd. Go back, maybe I don't know, to halfway, and then go ahead and hit on the from Z distance. Go to this a little after that keyframe, and go ahead and just make this. Click on it first, and then hit just hit one. So now it's just back to normal. So if I go ahead and preview this on half, you can see that the text just come, the thing just comes in. And it looks pretty sweet. So just give it a second. And just like that. And obviously, if it comes from the side perfectly, it would look much better. Like right now, it comes from an angle. So if you get it from the side, uh, from the side, and like keyframe it several times to make sure that it's um, always aligned, it looks a lot nicer. Which is what I did in my edit. I'm just doing a tutorial, so I'm gonna do it in a little lazy way. Okay. So now. That's done, and obviously we have all the spectating stuff because of um, Ghost not having theater mode, so you gotta use the free roam cam. So go ahead and make an adjustment layer and just type in transform. This is only if you're using Ghost. Jeez, I cannot type right now. Can't type and talk at the same time. Okay, there we go. Drag it on and bring the scale to, I think it's 120, could be wrong. And just drag it up. Drag it up a bit. And actually, you need to bring it to 125, I think, just to get rid of the side. Yeah, there you go. And there you go. And then you could just put this to 340. Perfect. Nope. It's Jesus. 335. Okay, so that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> oh, thank you for like 4,300 subs ish. Like, it kind of went up, you know, 300 subs since I uploaded this editing contest which makes sense in a way but at the same time I'm just kind of grateful for that so uh, yeah so thank you guys for watching have a nice day and I will see you guys sometime soon with another tutorial see you guys and goodbye